For weeks, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been scorned by the opposition for refusing to display the same anger against Pakistan that he did during the 2014 election campaign. Nearly three months and 40 ceasefire violations later, that silence has finally been broken with Narendra Modi launching a brief but sharp attack at Pakistan. After nearly 40 ceasefire violations since he took charge, Prime Minister Modi finally fired his first shot at Pakistan. From the strategic garrison heart of Ladakh, he handpicked his words to strike where it hurts. The sudden sharpness of the attack, made symbolically from Kargil, was intended to hit Pakistan at three different levels. First, he scoffs at Pakistan's conventional military strength, the core of its national pride. He underscores Pakistan's status as a sponsor of international terror and finally amplifies the weakness of Islamabad's political leadership. Which begs the question, is the Prime Minister's Pakistan policy inconsistent? This was Modi with Nawaz Sharif under three months ago, a gesture the Pakistan Prime Minister responded warmly to. Will Sharif be incensed enough to hit back? Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed troops here at the 14th Corps. It was a major morale booster where Prime Minister assured the troops they will get the latest equipment that they desire. He also cautioned them about Pakistan's continuing proxy war. Sources also say the Prime Minister assured them there will be no compromise on the Siachen Glacier. This was a major shot in the arm for army and air warriors deployed along the 110 km long line of actual control. Amplifying the situation along the frontier. Pakistani soldiers violated the ceasefire in Poonch just hours before Modi arrived in Ladakh. The latest of four ceasefire violations this week alone, including one on the international border. The question now, does Modi's message to Pakistan signal a hard new stance against unending provocations from across? With Gaurav Savant and Kargil, Bureau Report, Headlines Today.